All right, folks, so I'm doing a water change, a big water change on my dirty tank for the first time. Um, and I want to show you why, because I've been an advocate of not doing water change, just topping off. But I have noticed <laughs> that my TDS, by just topping off, I have really hard water here in Texas. And the TDS in this tank was well over 600. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here we go. We're throwing it in there. 621 TDS. That's pretty freaking high. So I decided let's do a water change on this thing. So I'm doing about a 75% water change. This is the last bucket I'm draining out of it. And this will be it. Then I gotta clean all this algae off and I'll refill it and then we'll pick up from there. So you also can see here is I'm draining, this is RO water, and I'm draining into a five gallon pail and I'm gonna add RO water to this. And then I'll go back to my normal top offs. Um, but I wanna bring down the TDS quite a bit. So we'll bring it down to about 200 and something when I do this this much of water water change with it so that's what we got for now as you can see folks I'm taking the RO water from a five gallon pail which I drained from a 20 gallon pail and I'm just siphoning it slowly into my dirty tank what I don't want happening is you know a rush of water and it stirs up the sand and the dirt and make a big cloudy mess so I just take a little I think it was a vitamin uh, jar. Drilled a bunch of holes in it and just let it drip in there slowly. So not to disturb everything. But yeah, I can still fill my tank. And while they're doing that, I guess I'll go start scraping the glass and get the algae off of there. All right, folks. So I finished the water change on this 20-gallon uh, dirty tank. Um, and I've filled it back up with RO water as you saw. So let's test the TDS on this now. So let's turn the meter on. So we're at zero. And let's stick it in the water. And we are at, uh, hard to see, but 216. So way much better than the uh, 621 um, so let me know what your opinion is does TDS really matter um, you know live bears love hard water and my water is really hard here anyway um, but I think when you get in the TDS range where I was at where it's in the 600s that seems to be a little bit hard for me so in my opinion just for me that's too high for me so I need to reduce that. And what's causing it, bottom line, what's causing it is I've never done a water change on this tank, okay? All I've ever done is just top it off. I do it with all my planted tanks. I just top them off. So I'm probably the guilty party causing it, the TDS to keep rising because I don't think the, the minerals really dissipate very, very well that are in the water. And you keep adding more and more and more over time. It just keeps raising up your TDS level. So, of course, fish waste, whatever else, that probably does something to TDS too. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm not the expert on it. It's just my opinion. That's what I wanted to do. So I changed it around a little bit. Um, anyway, l let's go talk about my 40 breeder that I did the video on yesterday. Um, asking for your uh, input on how to stock it now that most of my tetras have died off um, for unknown reasons other than I can think of is my Siamese algae eater was attacking them so let's go take a look at that real quick so folks this is my 40 breeder and like I said um, yesterday I did a video on this thing um, asking for some assistance or some recommendations to stock this tank seeing that uh, most of my neon tetras and black neons neon tetras whatever have gone away um, 
Uh, yesterday I pulled out my Siamese algae eater. Now it's rare. I've never seen the Siamese algae eater be very aggressive. I've got them in all my tanks and they've never bothered any fish before, but maybe because tetras are a little, uh, I say passive and the uh, Siamese algae eaters are a little bit more aggressive on their side, I guess. And I kept seeing him attacking, you know, these tetras. So I'm like, okay, I pulled him out, threw him in my 180. And he's smaller than the other two that I, the two I got in my 180, they're like probably five inches long. Um, but I haven't seen him. He's hiding because my Oscar immediately went after him. So he went and hid. I haven't seen him since. So I don't know if he the Oscar ate him or what. But um, anyhow, so after all your suggestions, and I do appreciate all of them, I have made a decision on what I'm putting in here. And I've placed an order with Dan's Fish. And due to holidays and everything, his scheduling, he sent me an email, got my order, and said it will ship out on January 13th. So that's fine with me. I, I, I'm in no hurry for it. So when they get here, they get here. I'm not going to tell you what they are. It'll be a surprise. Um, but I think you're going to like them. I know I'm going to like them um, for sure. And it's a species of fish that I've owned, but not this uh, this particular, I don't know, what, what do you call them? You know, the fish species have like the neons. You have the black neons, the green neons, the... Neon Tetras, you know, different genre, whatever you want to call the groups of fish. So it is a different fish than I've ever had. Um, but I do have types of that fish, but they're much bigger than what I'm going to put in here. Anyhow, so once that uh, fish get here, then we'll do a video on them and show you what we got. Anyhow, I do appreciate all your comments and uh, suggestions and like I say I've come to a decision and so I have placed an order and we'll go from there anyhow I hope you all have a happy new year hope you had a Merry Christmas uh, be safe out there don't drink and drive you know ain't safe you know drinking and driving is not good so anyway that's my message for you for the new year anyway have a happy new year bye bye